So why don't we charge this battery, load up this gun, get a case of nails, head out to the job site, and see if we can shoot every nail into this house that I gotta do on one battery like they say you can. If we're about 500 nails into it, we're one bar down on battery. Don't try this at home. This is going on rusty judgment. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Rusty Judgment. If we haven't met before, my name is Tom. This is my garage, and today's video is a little different than my normal content. I recently ran into a problem on a project of mine that uh, required me to purchase a tool that costs more than any other tool I've ever purchased, probably in my life. And so I decided that, why don't we review this tool, see uh, if it does what it's supposed to do and if it actually saves me time doing what it is I needed it for. As you see, actually a lot of my Milwaukee stuff is not here. It is currently in packouts in my truck. But my tool of choice is most likely Milwaukee tools. Uh, sadly, Milwaukee does not make the tool that we are gonna be reviewing here today. And so this is uh, my new Matabo. Uh, HPT, oh, you can't see it. HPT uh, metal connector nailer. So we're gonna unbox this thing, see what I think of it. The box, the box is in shambles. It was, it was all smashed and broken. From Amazon would be my guess. I don't know if it was like a, a return that, I don't know, maybe it's been shipped multiple times. I'm not really sure. Let's see. All about this tool. Oh, it came in a bag. So we get a little tool bag with it. Get some instructions, some literature. And then here is the, the gun itself. Not a bad looking gun. It's not the same color as all my other tools, which is weird. It uh, it came with one battery. I did not buy any more batteries with it. Uh, it also came, oh, it came with safety glasses. Um, and then it looks like it came with a wall charger. And some Allen wrenches and a plastic clip it says it's a battery cover all right that's that's it okay so let me tell you what i got this tool for and then uh we can go into taking it out to the job site where i need it at and testing this thing out all right so this tool here is a metal connector nailer it is for nailing nails into you guessed it, metal connectors, which would be like uh, joist hangers, hurricane ties, stuff like that. Anything that is a metal plate with a hole in it, it is for nailing through. So the problem I ran into on a job I had currently been working on is that I have to put a ton of hurricane ties on a project, on a house, and the amount of nails I need to hammer into the hurricane ties on the whole house would equivalent to about 750 nails pounded by hand. In one direction, I can pound them in by hand. The other direction of the hurricane tie, because the hurricane tie is just a plate twisted. And the other direction is between two joists. And uh, I could swing a hammer to do about four hurricane ties, which have five nails per hurricane tie on each half. So 10 nails per tie. And so I, I got to a point where I couldn't swing a hammer between a 14 and a half inch gap to pound these hurricane ties in. Uh, this is what we got to replace that with. Let's get a tape measure and see if this will fit between the joists. All right, so it is 14 and a half from edge to the tip is 14 and a half inches. So between a traditional floor joist span or a wall stud, it should fit 
this way, stud here, stud here, it should fit. What we're gonna test out, we're gonna take this out to the job site. We're, we're gonna charge this one battery. This one battery is supposed to shoot up to 900 nails. We need to shoot almost 700 nails. So we're gonna test this thing out. I'm not gonna charge it one time after I charge it initially. We're gonna see how it lasts. Um, I have a Milwaukee framing nailer, a uh, cordless framing nailer. And I would say that this is 100% lighter than that nailer. Granted, the guns do different things, um, but this is lighter. And also, I think the battery is smaller. It's an 18 volt, which is comparable to Milwaukee, but I'd say this is a lighter gun. So why don't we charge this battery, load up this gun, get a case of nails, head out to the job site, and see if we can shoot every nail into this house that I gotta do on one battery like they say you can. This is a full basement underneath a moved in house and there's currently no heat, no electricity, and really a whole lot of nothing down here. I've got a little propane heater going here. These are windows here. I just have foam hung over them to try and keep some of the cold air out. It is probably negative five degrees right now outside. As you can see with my breath, it's fairly cold in here as well. I'm gonna get one of these hurricane ties nailed up and show you how, how quick this works and then we'll get this house secured down. I shot one up there to hold it in place. So now we're gonna do this one-handed so it fits between the joists. And it looks like this guy will also shoot straight through the joists. They don't look like they're going in all the way, do they? It's probably because I'm not hitting the wall. It's whole hard doing with one hand at a camera. Ooh, okay, we got one done. A lot to go. Probably about halfway through the box. You can see here I've got all the hurricane ties up. If we're about 500 nails into it, we're one bar down on battery. So, I mean, I would say it'll probably do 900 nails like they say. I didn't think I was gonna have any complaints with it because it's a really nice gun. And I've watched a bunch of other reviews on other guns and I see people complain about this thing that I'm gonna complain about with this gun, both of the things. And I always thought, well, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, is it? Like, so one complaint is that it's actually pretty heavy. And I understand that what I'm doing is all overhead. Typically when you're hanging these, you're gonna be doing them like below your head. You're gonna be above your area while you nail it. You're not gonna have a house on top of what you're doing. But what I'm doing is all overhead and holding this thing above your head for 500 nails, it's really heavy. Uh, actually, I take it back, I got three complaints. Heavy, which I don't really know how much lighter you can make it. Like I understand like there's a, a mechanical standpoint that you can't reduce quality. So I understand that it kind of is what it is with the weight, I would imagine. It's still lighter than my Milwaukee framing nailer. The other complaint I have is where I'm working at is a fairly dark area. Like this is probably the lightest spot, but like over in these corners up in here, it's actually kind of hard to see the tip, um, the tip here of the gun, cause that's got to go in the holes. Granted, you can shoot through the fastener and it'll shoot right through the metal. But if you want to get them all in the holes, like you're supposed to, it would be nice if you had a little light on the end of it that lit up kind of like all my Milwaukee stuff does because it's kind of hard to see um, getting it into the right spot. The next complaint I have is the magazine capacity on this thing. Uh, I was, I've seen this complaint with all, all, almost, almost every uh, cordless nailer 
is magazine capacity. If you could fit two of these guys in there, that would be amazing because I think that's what I'm stopping for the most. It's not getting down on the ladder and sliding over to the next spot or pulling out hurricane ties. It's, it's having to stop mid firing to load another round of nails. It actually burns through these nails pretty quick, which is a pro and a con for the gun because that means that the gun's actually super efficient. It hasn't jammed one single time and I don't expect it to, but because it does so good, you get rocking and rolling, putting nails in, and then you're like, ah, I need more nails. And so you're constantly loading nails into it. If they made a mag extension, that would be cool. A light for the end would be cool too. Otherwise, as far as the weight thing, I'm okay with getting stronger. So if that's what it comes down to, that's fine by me. So far, so good. It's an amazing gun so far. I really like it. I think it's also like because you're shooting the nails in pneumatically instead of nailing them with a hammer. I think the nails sink harder. I feel like you're getting a, a better grip into the into the wood. But that's just my opinion. That's there's no facts based on that. I'm gonna finish nailing all these in and we'll see where the battery lands. Done putting in all the hurricane ties I needed. I wanna find out how many nails this gun will shoot. So we're gonna burn out the rest of the nails I can run through here before the battery dies on a two by six I got here. I'm just gonna burn through as many nails till this battery stops. So we'll see where we landed. I don't know, it finally quit on me. We're not out of nails. I think I got a red flashing light on there. And then I got a one bar here. That light is showing a wrench, not batteries, but maybe when it shows battery, it does that too. Turn it off, turn it back on. Still that. All right, oh, we're getting a flashing battery light. All right, so we're gonna say that she's cooked for power. And you guys, I gotta be honest. When this thing said it would shoot 900 nails on one charge, I thought that's that'd be pretty wild. So this was, again, box quantity 1,000, inch and a half. You wanna see what we got left out of 1,000 off of one battery? Here, let's dump this out. Okay, we got that little bit. We got three full clips, that's it. That's amazing. I just counted how many nails are left. So we got three bundles here, three of 24, and then some randoms off the, the rest, off the what was in the clip. So I've got 81 nails out of a thousand that it didn't get through. It was supposed to only do 900. And I understand that circumstances may change, weather, conditions, cold. It's, it's zero degrees out, it's cold here. I got a little heat going, but that doesn't really matter in my opinion. This battery was charged one time from brand new one time, and it actually sat in my house for a week and a half before I actually got around to shooting the rest of this video. This thing just shot 919 nails on one battery charge in the zero degree temperature cold into frozen wood. That's pretty amazing. This gun retailed for about $450 for the gun, the battery, the charger as a bundle because I don't have anything Metabo. I had to buy the whole bundle. So $450 for this gun, I would say it's worth the money. This only took me probably an hour and a half. That's shooting all the hurricane ties I needed and then burning the rest of these nails on a couple boards to see how far this would go. And so that's, that's pretty amazing if you ask me. Would I recommend buying this gun? Yes. If you have a need to shoot a ton of fasteners, I would highly recommend it. Or if you don't have power. We have power right now because I've got a generator running in the back of my truck and a cord strung in here for lighting. But I would much rather deal with a battery charge thing than a pancake compressor, air hoses, generators, the whole that whole setup. I would much rather deal with just battery. All right, so I am back here in the garage with my Metabo metal connector nailer. In review, this thing is a fantastic gun. I am I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, there are some nice features on it that I like. The only real cons, the things I really didn't like about it is that 
there's no light at the end to illuminate where you're gonna fire, which isn't actually that big of a deal to me. The battery exceeded my expectations. The gun did not misfire one single time. It's heavy, but we'll just attribute that to me being a weak individual. So I will get stronger and I'm sure it won't be that big of a deal. The mag capacity being uh, bigger would be nice if they made a mag extension. That would be pretty awesome. But all in all, I think this is a fantastic gun. From what we fired out of the gun down in that basement, we shot 919 nails on one fully charged battery, start to finish. That was fantastic. Swinging a hammer to pound that many nails in would have been brutal. I don't want to sound like a real weakling, but I love this gun. I'm really happy that I bought it. It was expensive, but I think that it will pay for itself in a matter of time. If you like this video, comment down below if you would like to see a tool review on any of my other tools. I can do that for sure. Or if there's something I missed, if, if you were like, hey, dude, you didn't mention this, that it has. I'm just a human being like you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.